started using the Clever YouTube plugin. Once you have the plugin installed in WordPress, go ahead and make a new post. And then if you look below your post editor, you should see the Clever YouTube plugin's meta box. If you don't see the meta box, then try clicking on your screen option slide out tab and verify that the item has a check mark there. It's easy to embed a YouTube video with the Clever YouTube plugin. Simply head over to YouTube and copy the URL of the video you want. And then just paste it into step one here. In the next step, you'll notice a little drop down box which contains a list of video styles. Now a video style is simply a set of display properties which will dictate how your video will look. It will specify things like the video size and play button color, etc. You can create your video styles in the plugin setting page, but we'll talk about that in a minute. The rest of the features in the meta box allow you to control other aspects of the video like the start time and end time, as well as the video caption, page alignment, and a few other options. But for now, all you really need to get started is the YouTube URL. So once you've got that, you'll notice this little shortcode here at the bottom. If you don't know what a shortcode is, it's just a little segment of code that WordPress uses to display special items in your content. In this case, it'll just be displaying our nice looking YouTube video. So all we do is copy the shortcode and then paste it into our post at the location where we'd like it to appear. Now let's head over to the Clever YouTube plugin settings page and let's give our video a width and set a playback quality. And let's choose a colorful button. Okay, now let's upload an image for our video cover. I have a nice JPEG here with our company logo. Now I have several more options here, but for now, I'll just give my video style a name and save my settings. And that's it. Now let's head over to my article, and you can see I've managed to embed a pretty nice looking YouTube video in my content.